It's my take on the salad niçoise, served with a delicious goat cheese and pear tartine. Think of the niçoise as an assembly job of delicious ingredients, brought together with a fantastic dressing. The secret behind my salad niçoise is in the dressing. Spoon Dijon mustard into a pestle and mortar. Some people top the salad with anchovies and capers, but in mine, they're the base to the dressing. We're going to grind that to a paste. And then get the garlic in there. Season well with black pepper. It doesn't need any salt in there because of the anchovies. Add a couple of tablespoons of red wine vinegar, olive oil, and lastly, flat leaf parsley to give the dressing freshness against those deep flavors. It's a thick, rich, substantial dressing. Dressing done. Now for the salad. Boiled potatoes, green beans, and eggs. From a rolling ball, seven and a half to eight minutes. You should keep that nice, yolky, creamy texture in the center. Once the eggs are ready, put them into cold water to stop them cooking, and this is a great trick to peel them. So much easier peeling eggs when you use the water that they've been cooling down in. And the water will seep underneath all the shell. And so the whole shell just gets peeled off in one beautiful big layer. Pop it out. Now, beans. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. Season the beans and potatoes whilst they're still warm, so they absorb more flavor. A little drizzle of olive oil, salt, pepper, and just let them sit there. Whilst the potatoes and beans cool down, I'm doing a simple French open sandwich, which is called a tartine. This is delicious. First, I'm toasting baguette on the griddle. Lightly oil your griddle pan. Get your bread. Stick it on there. Take a pear. It goes brilliantly well with goat's cheese. Slice the pear into finger width pieces. That's the color we're looking for that dark, crispy texture. Now for the ghost cheese. Give it a season. It doesn't need salt, because a little fresh ghost cheese is already quite salty. Then a handful of crumbled walnuts. They go under the grill whilst I put the tuna and niçoise together. My secret to assembling a great niçoise salad is to start in the middle of the plate and add ingredients layer by layer. So there's one thing I'm always missing at the bottom of salads is dressing. So I like to put it on the plate first. Baby Jim lettuce is great because it's robust and holds that heavy dressing. Then add firm, waxy salad potatoes and green beans. I like them to have a bit of a crunch. Canned tuna can be fantastic. I'm using a good quality one in olive oil, which has been drained. Next, baby plum tomatoes, which have a lovely, intense, sweet flavor. And then, my eggs, that nice, dark, rich yolk. Beautiful. Yolk still creamy inside. These are little olive niçoise. This will work just as well with other black olives. And then your dressing. Drizzle that round gently. Beautiful. <laughs>